This morning, two of my influencers collided in my head because one of them showed up on my Facebook page with a meme that, well, it seems a little ridiculous, but you know it's true. Welcome to Leading Leaders Podcast. Five-minute videos, five days a week. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast, and this morning Robin Barnhart posted a meme, and it's just a picture that's stuck on the door. And it's a picture that says, push, and if that doesn't work, pull, and if that doesn't work, the real entrance over here. And I I think to myself, how often do we try with a little effort, and if that doesn't work, you give it a little more effort, if that doesn't work, try a little different effort, but it's still all about, don't realize that the wall we're pushing against is just a wall and it's not a door and that pathway is never going to open it doesn't matter how hard we try to go the wrong way the wrong way is still the wrong and then i thought back to a seminar that i went to i guess it would have been in 2012 or 13 and i saw a guy standing at the front of the room named james malinchek who said we've all heard the phrase you can work harder or you can work smarter. And he said, you know, if I wanted to get from this room to the next room, I could go to the wall and I could start banging my face and my head and my hands against the wall until eventually a hole broke open in the wall. And that would be working hard. I would be working very hard to get through that wall. But if I was smart, I would use a tool. Maybe I would grab a chair and use the, the foot of the chair, the leg of the chair to dig a hole in the wall. And then I would make my way through the wall by using a tool to work smarter rather than harder to get through the wall. But if I was really wise and really intelligent and I had good mentors and coaches in my life, I wouldn't work hard to use my face to get through the wall. I wouldn't even be smart. I wouldn't work smarter and use a chair or a tool to get through the wall. I would walk another 10 feet to the left and open the door and go into the other room. And I thought to myself, you know, there's a... There's a process where we all journey through life, learning these hard lessons sometimes. We make huge mistakes or sometimes little mistakes, but they have huge consequences because while we get to choose what decision we're going to make, we don't always get to choose the outcome from it. It's kind of like attitude. If you have a bad attitude, it's going to be a seed that's going to grow into a viral bad attitude and it's more contagious than the common cold or anything else it's going to spread so bad attitude makes for another bad attitude makes for a bunch of bad attitudes and now you live in a garden of bad attitudes or an environment a workplace a a home of bad attitudes and it's not good but see there's there's more to it than that when you think about the impact of a bad idea or worse the impact of an idea that no one else ever hears. How many ideas have you had that you worked really hard at the idea all on your own? Maybe you got smarter and you hired a couple of people to collaborate with you, but you kept the idea to yourself. You just gave them assignments or tasks. So you you can work harder and try to do it all by yourself, or you can work smarter and you can take that idea to a collaborative team and hire some contractors or maybe even hire some employees and then send out some delegated assignments and tell people, I need you to do this thing and then you do this thing and you end up with one of those train tracks that the lines don't actually meet each other. The bridge that meets over the water but the two sides of the bridge don't line up in the same place. It happens a lot and it happens. We try to hold the idea to ourselves. When we have a new idea, a new notion, a new vision, a new plan, and we want to do it all on our own. But see, there's one thing that you have to do with an idea. To sell the idea. And I don't just necessarily mean for money, but usually helps. But to sell an idea, you have to let it go. You have to let it not be your idea. Why? Because everybody wants to get credit. Everybody wants to go... I did it. I had the idea. Look what I came up with. So here's the one secret to selling an idea. Give it away. Yep, that's it. 
Give it away. Give it to everybody who might be somewhat interested. Everyone who would invest themselves in it. Everyone who would buy in. And then give up the credit. Let them believe it's their own. Because in the end, is it really about selling the idea to make the money just off the idea? Or is it about the passion and the compassion that comes the idea and the who that it will help? See, if you've got an idea to do good for others, that's an awesome thing. That's an incredible thing. And you need to do it. But in order to sell that idea to somebody else, you may have to give it away first. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast, or Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day. Subscribe now for our extensive video library of leadership lessons promoting faith, family, and freedom.